blood, stay away from me. How could you shake my hand, look me in my face, homie? You said you, said you always prayed for me. Little did I know on the low, you used to hate on me. Hey, I chase a bag, huh? Double up, hey, now you niggas mad, huh? Remember when you. Yo, what to do? It's your boy MTC King, and I'm back on your stream. Hope everybody has a great, amazing, blessed Monday. Um, I just got out the shower right now. And it's been so damn emotional. Uh, I don't know, it's just crazy how life works. But anyway, so I hope you all have a great, amazing day. And, you know, you're not having a good day i just pray that your day gets better and uh i'll see you in a little bit don't know what i'm gonna do today but i know i'm not taking care of the baby today because the grandmother is also today is actually my day off and tomorrow will be my day off as well but um but yeah i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in a bit though chill yo what's up what it do squad i'm just right here chilling in my living room uh, wore my broken head today, my rose, uh, I'm wearing my purple shorts, you know what I'm saying, I'm probably gonna have to change my shorts though, because it's cold outside, and I'm gonna go right now with my mom to pick up my little brother, uh, I was gonna wear my Vikings, uh, my Vikings jersey, because it's purple, yellow, and white, and the reason I'm wearing the purple, of course, in honor of of Kobe, you know, and his daughter, and everybody who passed away on the on the in the helicopter. It hit me so hard. Um, I actually got to see it, and damn, that shit hit. That tears just started coming down my eyes. Just started praying for his family, for the families of all of us. I literally. God's my witness. I started crying. That's why my eyes are like this. I started crying early this morning, and it was just like, damn, it's just so damn heartbreaking. Nobody deserves to die like that, and it's just like, whoa. It just made me realize a lot of stuff, and, you know, to appreciate life more, to forgive, to love, and, yeah. But anyways, though, guys, I just wanted to get on here to let y'all know that what I'm doing, I'm just doing that right now. Just chilling here. I'm watching, um, damn, what am I watching? I'm watching something. It's one of these, one of these TV shows that I'm watching, but anyways, though, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to catch y'all in a bit, though. I hope y'all are all having a great day right now, and I will see y'all in a bit, though. Chill. Yo, what's up, squad? I'm right here. I'm at the laundromat, but I'm outside right now. I came to the car because I actually came to get my my Coke. Um, still wearing my broken hat, you know what I'm saying? I took my jersey off because when I came to the laundromat. I didn't want to get it ruined. I've been having that jersey for a minute now. Uh... Folks, I don't know if I, damn, I'm tripping. I don't know if I film what I have my jersey on, but I know I have my jersey on, the number four. I don't think I recorded when I had it on, but I did have it on, but I took it off because I came to the laundromat with my mom to uh, wash and stuff, help her out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and yeah, right now I came out to the car just to get my drink, but also to, to vlog really quick. Um... You know what I'm saying? Just praying for better days and to feel less pain. I've been feeling so numbed. Uh, a lot has to do with my chest area. Just, you know, it's just pain constantly. I got numbing medication put it on, but the shit don't seem to help. I literally feel like where I have my tubes at, I feel like it's leaking through and it just feels so damn crazy and unsoreal, but 
I be in a lot of pain every day, but I still get out the house and try to do stuff. Like I said, whether it's doing some of my pops, whether it's doing some of my moms, just to get out, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people don't understand, but like, I'm 31, and I'm always constantly in my room. Even when I'm babysitting, I'm just in my room. It's rare. Like, yesterday, um, I was actually in the living room the whole day until the nighttime, uh, until I vlogged, or until I did the video for y'all last night, uh. And then after that, I went to leave the baby, and then I came back, and I was right in my room again. So it's just like, I just be in my room, even, you know, like, on, like, yeah, I just be in my room. It's like, it's like if I'm not doing something with my pops, like I, like I just said, or like, well, my mom's just like, I'm just in my damn room. Like, I don't know, it's just weird. That's just how i always been, though, since I was a kid and a teenager. I did go out, you know, I did do stuff when I was young, I'm not gonna say, oh, I was always at the damn house, but, like, when I would be at my house, I was literally, you know what I'm saying, in my damn room, and I just got a damn thing from my thing, and I don't want to see, because I don't want it to be nothing bad, but, ugh. Anyway, so, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'll see you on a bit before my mom thinks I have to go off or something, <laughs> so I'll catch you in a little bit, though, shit. With the bottle of Dom Perignon. Hey. I'm right here at Kroger shopping, but I can't try to look in the chill. Yo, what's up, squad ops? I'm back. I'm bad. I'm freaking thirsty. Uh, I'm just right here. I'm telling you, it's 9.32. I actually was laying down and I had my beeps on. I haven't used my beeps in a minute. That's how I got two pairs. But I put my beeps on and I ended up dozing off. I probably dozed off probably for like an hour maybe. It's rare, but I dozed off. Dozed off my song repeated on one song and I knocked out and I just woke up. Well, about like. 10 minutes ago, I woke up, and it felt like I was sleeping forever, guys. Like, that's what happens when a person like me gets no sleep every day, and just with one hour of sleep that I get, I wake up feeling like I'm sleep forever. It was amazing. Uh, which means pretty much I'm not going to probably go to sleep no time soon, or not even all day today. Who knows? Uh... But yeah, you know, today I was just chilling. Uh, I just woke up, and you know, like I told you earlier, when I woke up, I just, I, you know, I was praying. I busted out crying, and you know, like I said, it's okay to cry. So I ain't really tripping on what anybody thinks, you know. Um, like I said, you know, we all have feelings. Uh, you know, we're all only human. You know what I'm saying? Um. But yeah, so I was just chilling. I've been I had been chilling home. Then I went with my mom to pick up my little brother. And then we came home, and she gave my brother his medicine and stuff. And then next thing I went with boy to do laundry. Came home, was putting my stuff up, and I went to the store with with my dad. And as I was at the store with my dad, I got a notification from. Facebook about the news that they were going live and they were talking about um like um it was uh it was like the I guess the sheriff's police office and one of like people that are doing the investigation on Kobe Bryant and stuff and I was all into that I was just watching that and, and like people asking like you know have they spoken to his wife or not but they said that they couldn't uh, they weren't gonna discuss that then they were asking like you know. Has any of the families gone there? Has, it, has um, Vanessa gone over there? Vanessa, for those of you that don't know, is Kobe Bryant's wife. Um, but they said they couldn't discuss that either. That, you know, some of the families apparently have gone or whatever. And I'm sure, you know, she already went, you know. I wouldn't doubt that, you know. And it hit me more when they were like, you know, was any... Any was... Was any bodies recovered and 
I knew I knew what they were gonna say, but it still it gave me like the chills, and it was just like oh, like when they when they just said that they did c recover some of the remains, but they didn't they didn't like say whose remains. So I was just like man, like that's just boss is hard, but you know of course you know you're not gonna recover a whole body for how bad that that crash was like the way they were just describing it it was just like damn you know um that's yeah, so i was watching that for a while but then the mavericks were gonna play so i turned on the mavericks and just see how they were gonna you know see if they were gonna do anything you know in honor of kobe and they did they took the 24 second um jack clock in the eighth and then yeah then the it, no they took the eight dallas took the eight and um damn who were they who the heck were they playing against i don't even remember but who are they i forgot guys who are they playing against they took the 24 second shot clock but after that i was watching it for a little bit but then i was like damn i saw the time and i was like damn my damn show was on which was um damn i was about to say if i forgot the name of my show i'm gonna be pissed all american and then tell me why all american just left me on the spot while i'm just like man why you gotta do me like that spencer well i don't want to ruin it. if you watch it and you haven't watched it i'm sorry but spencer spencer gets shot and that's where it freaking just stopped i was like man why you gotta really do me like that now i gotta wait till next monday like come on now why you gotta do me like that for man <laughs> but yeah, so then that's after that is when I came into my room and I just lay down, put my headphones on. I got my headphones. I laid down and I crashed out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's just like what my day's been up, guys. Like, just that. And tomorrow, who knows what I'm gonna do tomorrow? Snap. Tomorrow's supposed to rain, though. That's the crazy part. Cause then after tomorrow, then I babysit all the way until Sunday. <sighs> I'm sorry, but being on medication, it just gives me really damn thirsty. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise though, you know, I just I've been there chilling in stores, you know. Breathing in, breathing out, inhaling, exhaling. Shit, you know, having heart problems, having all kinds of difficulties that I freaking that come with me. I'm just like, damn, I feel like Humpty Dumpty, honestly. I had to be pumping myself, and then I had to make sure I pump myself right. I actually miss my dose right now at eight o'clock. So just hopefully nothing happens if I start feeling like I really need it then I hurry up and I take it if not I could probably wait till right now till 12 but then right now I'm gonna take my other one because the one that I missed right now at 8 was my rest inhaler I do it every 4 hours uh, and it's called a rescue inhaler for a reason because when, at the moment I feel like I'm getting an attack I hurry up put it on and I just put myself in it helps my airways open up And if that doesn't help, then I call 911. Um, but yeah. But anyway, so I hope you all had a great and amazing day. You know, hopefully tomorrow can be better. You know, if you didn't have a great day. Um, like I said, you know, me with so much going on, like, I always find a way just to stay positive. And the best thing to do, honestly, is to stay away from negative people and people that bring you down. You need more... You need more uh, positive people versus negative people in your life, you know. If people are going to bring you down and talk and not understand you, then those ain't the people you need. You need to kick, kick them to the curb and find you a whole different set of people that are going to actually understand you and care about you. That's just what I think. And that's just what I say all the time, you know. It's, what's negative? This thing good, you know, and people that always put themselves down and think so wrong of life. Those other people you gotta block out your life because they ain't gonna get you. No, if people ain't willing to take risk, 
then I'm sorry. You just hanging with the wrong crowd. <laughs> like that's just that's just facts. Look, I'm the type of person that I love taking risks. <laughs> right now, it's been hard for me to take risks only because the the medical condition that I have is is severe. It's, it wasn't no joke. It wasn't no little oh, no little cut and no little surgery. No, my surgery was a major surgery and it happened twice. So I can't just say oh yeah, thug life. Cause then if I say thug life, it could end up much worse. You know what I mean? Um, otherwise, if it would have been something small, of course I would have. I would have loved to take a risk and I would say f this. I'm gonna do what the hell the heck I want, but I just can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Trust me, when I'm able to do it again, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take risk because risk is my damn name. And a lot of people that know me know that. <laughs> like I say, you know, I could be going through so much, but I still find a way to put a smile on my face and to stay think positive. Like I say, you know, for a long time, I've been dealing with a lot of health issues as a kid, as a teenager, as a young adult and now as an adult i'm dealing with it but i'm still i'm not like oh just down and whatnot like heck no i'm still keeping my head up high and i might not have a job i might not have a lot but hey if like i said if i don't ask if i don't ask anybody for money i ain't tripping on like why they worried about me but people like that try to bring me down and tie down in this like but you ain't even giving me anything but you're talking down on me like what are you throwing at me that i don't got a job like what like i'm still making money like but you're talking bad about me hey but i'm, I'm not asking you for anything but talking a lot about me like the hell it's like i understand if i'm asking you for something then talk bad about me but if i ain't asking you for that why you talking bad about me you know um so yeah but you know, just keep your head up high. And, yeah, and one more thing. Happy birthday to my boy, Benny. Happy birthday, my boy. Um, this is birthday day. May God bless you with many, many, many more years to come your way, man. And I appreciate you for letting me, do, you know, do your songs. And one other thing that did make my day today was the Aguilar. Shout out to Candy and Nestor. And congratulations, you guys. They are going to the reverse candy's tubes to try to have another baby they are a family if you are not familiar with them i suggest you go watch them here on youtube they are a family that lost their baby to cancer and now they want to try to have another baby and i don't blame them you know what i'm saying they're great parents they got you know three beautiful kids Two beautiful daughters, you know, uh, a handsome son, no homo, but a handsome son. You know, their baby boy was handsome. They lost him. They have four kids. And, you know, their baby, though, you know, God took him soon, but he only knew why he needed him. And I'm excited for them, man. When I saw that video, that video right there just set a whole mood and just made my day, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a beautiful thing when a woman wants to do that and not because you force her to but because she wants to do that that's just a beautiful feeling you know the most beautiful feeling is when you know you could talk about it and make it speak it into existence and make it come true like that's just a beautiful feeling you know Ch children are blessings whoever does not take their child as a blessing then I don't know, you must not have a damn heart to not take your child as a blessing. Um, like I say, my my um my my baby who I consider my, my daughter daughter, I freaking would do whatever I can for her, man. If I had to take a bullet for her, trust me I would. Shit. Like who wouldn't, you know what I mean? That's how much I love her. And she's like, I don't even want to speak about that though, because I just get emotional as hell, and I do not want to cry right now, man, because I was thinking about her so much earlier, and I just thought, damn, I cry, broke down, fucking crying. <laughs> but yeah, that made my day though, and so shout out to the Aguilar's, man. I'm proud of y'all for that, and that really made my day. And I real talk, I'm so excited for y'all. Can't wait, you know. May God 
be with Candy the day of surgery when she's reversing her tubes. And may God be with y'all on this journey that you're taking. And may God bless y'all with a beautiful either baby boy or baby girl, you know. It's his will. It's his destiny. And what's destined to be. May the future hold a new bundle of joy for y'all soon. Um, I'm sure it... When that day comes, I'm sure I'm probably going to even cry for y'all because that's just how happy I am for y'all, honestly. From the bottom of my heart, I send y'all nothing but positive, positive vibes and much love. And I really admire y'all for doing y'all. And like Candy always says, you know, even if your own family can't accept your significant other, then sometimes you just got to block them out too, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, everything that she say is just, is just true. <laughs> but with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, join the team, join the squad, and I will most definitely see y'all tomorrow. And much love, much respect, and I'm out. Chill. Yo, bitch, yeah, she wanna give me sex. Yeah, they mad. I got him upset. Hit that bitch one song to the next. Ay, ooh, I'm disrespectful. Got my dick in the mouth, that's a neck for Fucked her with the lights off like it's curfew. She started chewing on these.